So today I'm showing you how to perform a Dell system restore. As you can see, I'm doing this because I have a drop shadow problem. I've tried turning it off and on, didn't work. And because autoplay does not work, if I plug in a flash drive, you don't see an autoplay window come up. So I'll show you what to do. Next thing you want to do is back up all of your personal data, such as pictures, emails, video, and music. In most cases, systems built and shipped after 2005 will have Dell Restore built into the hard drive on a secret partition. However, if you were people, if you're one of the people who bought a Dell machine before 2005, then Dell will send you an envelope or all the software and drivers you'll need. Um, however, that's on request, so you have to tell or give Dell a call. So, if you want the software, then you'll get everything. Copy of Windows, drivers, applications, Dell Media Direct, whatever. That's if you bought a computer that has Dell Media Direct. So, yeah. To boot from disks, press F2 at the BIOS, and you'll automatically enter the BIOS. Now, just keep scrolling down until you see boot sequence. From there, you can choose the destinations and areas where you want to boot from. Now, press enter and scroll down to number 4, which is CD, DVD, CDRW drive. And you can insert your orange disk, which Dell sent you. That's if you don't have Dell Restore built onto your system. And from there, you can just pretty much do the basic reformat your hard drive and reinstall Windows process. Now, for the, those of you with Dell Restore, just turn on your computer, and when you see the splash screen, or when it says PBR2 done, press Control and F11, and you'll see this come up. Now, it'll say Dell Restore. Now, Dell Restore is by Norton Ghost. So, if you're not sure, or if you're really skeptical, skeptical about re-imaging, then you could just go ahead and click reboot. However, if you really want to, then you click restore. And it's going to tell you that you're going to lose all data. Make sure you back it everything up. And if you're sure you really want to do it, so you click confirm if you do, and cancel if you don't. And from here on, it'll manage itself. Once it's done, it'll tell you whether or not the recover was successful. More likely, it is successful, and it will be. And it'll tell you, caution, do not manually shut down your computer. Click the Finish button to reboot Windows, so you click Finish. And then, please click Yes to continue. So there you go, you'll reinstall everything. Keep in mind you have to set up Windows again, and here's your Dell EULA. So press any key. Then press any key again. And Windows will be starting up. Yes, here Windows is reinstalling itself again. And here's where you configure Windows to do everything. Yes, United States, United States, United States, English, yes. Next. Choose my time zone. Let's see, New York. New York, New York. Eastern time. Next. Yes, here's the EULA again. Well, this time it's for Windows. Next. Yep. Help protect. And then computer description. Just type in my name. Banny. Next. Hmm. Doesn't usually take that long, but eh, what the hell.
Okay, checking my internet connectivity. An internet connection could not be chosen, you think? Come on, I'm on a notebook. It's not like I'm going to use Ethernet. Yes, I'd like to Microsoft. I'd like to register with Microsoft. Maybe no. Ah, yes. First name, Danny. Last name, Lay. Address, well, like you can't see that, or could you? City, Jamaica, States. State, New York. Zip code. Email address, advanced demand. At AOL.com, you know. Hopefully you're not filling in exactly what I'm saying. And it says unable to connect, but you know what? If you're on a notebook, then just skip it. If you're on a desktop, then plug in your Ethernet, and if anything else happens, just skip it again. Skip. No thanks. Next. And, you know, crapware. You know, all this bull crap. Let's see, free six months of AOL. Earthlink. Three months free of net zero. Earthlink doesn't even exist anymore. It's part of Time Warner. Next. Finish. Do not turn off your screen. Do not turn off your computer when your screen is blank. There, it's back to normal. If you can take a look, I'll zoom in on this. Just make sure you keep in mind that as soon as you do a dull restore, you'll automatically get all the crapware preloaded from Dell. Well, it may be a burden, but who cares? You'll still have all your drivers, and it takes less time to uninstall all the crapware and bloatware than to install all your drivers, right? All right. Uh, PC sell-in, that expired a hell of a long time ago. Do not accept. Okay, yeah, it's not like I read it anyways. A couple notes on what you should know is if you installed Linux, Ubuntu, or any kind of Linux, Edubuntu, Kubuntu, Zubuntu, uh, Xandros, almost any other operating system, you must uninstall them before doing a Dell Restore, otherwise it'll stay on the partition and you won't get it removed. And if you have payware or, well, mainly the high-ranked antiviruses such as Norton 360, um, oh, here's Dell Support. If you have Trend Micro PC Cillin, and especially Casper Sky or Kaspersky, however you prefer to say it, Uninstall them before reformatting, otherwise your license will still be active and you can't enter the product code again. 